Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Andy. And I'm Joe. And I'm also Joe. And I'm Andy. And Joe the third is me. Andy uh, the fifth is I. Right. Uh, we're going to show you right now a video from our past. These are videos that have previously aired on our Patreon page from the past. Yes. Uh, because we're getting ready to launch new videos from the future. The future is. I've said before on this channel, if you've watched some of the older videos, where you should take your shoes off, take your pants off, put your pants back on, put your shoes back on, take your jacket off, put your jacket back on. But now I'd also like to advise for those of you who wear glasses, take your glasses off, put your glasses back on, go get some sunglasses, put them on top of your glasses, and uh, that's it. Keep the sunglasses on over the glasses. Joe can't do it because he can't find sunglasses right now. But uh, please enjoy this video from our past while we get ready for our future here on Give Me All You Got, the it's show. The Andy <laughs> show. It's not the name of the show. That's just the name that I thought of. Anyway, enjoy this. Bye. I was, I was always so yeah. sad that those band shells I know, they and sit parks there all year. sit there all year and never I use know. them. Yeah. I would, as a kid, fantasize. Like, it's like, from like, like eight years old, I would sit in the park and just look at those things and be like, my band yeah. will play on there someday. Yeah. And of course, we, that does not we happen. We had a band, but. and when, when I was in like seventh or eighth grade, there was a band that was actually pretty good. They were, they yeah. would, tour in the summer they were, they were called like kiss. 14 <laughs> <laughs> called kiss. a lot of fire yeah. involved permits were hard yeah but uh they actually would go and tour and they had real shows and things and they had like three other bands that were like trying to be bands in school yeah and i just like walked into the city office as like a kid and i was like i want to have a concert at the park yeah and they were actually very friendly to me they imagine be being in like the cool, cool band in high school you know, yeah, there's yeah. always like that one mm -hmm. where like they got it together and everyone respects them as a band yeah. and like they're seen as like the legit band. Mm -hmm. Has that ever worked out? Has that band ever gone on I think to be usually, like they're peaking in like yep. ninth grade? Yeah, they also far. fly too close to the sun. Yeah, you know, we soon. had one and I don't even remember the name. It was something about cans or something. <laughs> Sweet cans, sweet yeah. cans, <laughs> sweet cans. But they were whatever. Like I don't know them because they were they were a few grades older than me. Right. But they were like the cool ass mm. band. And I was like, you know, trying to start my first garage band, and it just seemed like there is no band other than this band, sure. and this is the yeah. eternal band forever. And there they like covered Blink One Eighty Two songs right. efficiently. And, yeah, there was a guy yeah. that was a few years older uh, than I was in school, and after, like, when I was halfway through high school, he had like gone on to like try to have a career in music, and he, be he became like a local celebrity. But I remember people saying like, what a huge deal it was. He was playing the courtyard at the local mall. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you're that age, you're like, oh, there's like an actual place yeah. allowing somebody to perform that was yeah. like a big deal. These This band would play outside of the school, like in the parking yeah. lot, but it was it sanctioned by the school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there was no stage, but it was just like, and people would, you know, there was probably 20 people there, but it felt like, you know what, f these guys, because this is what yeah. I want to do. Like, this <laughs> is always the kid. This is my like dream. Amazing at guitar yeah. when he's 13 or 14, and they do like those talent show yeah. competitions. Yeah. And there's like the kid who's like, He's learning like a 311 song and yeah. can just kind of kind of play it, whatever. Yeah, and guys, then... guys. 311 <laughs> was an inside job. It, indeed, oh, yeah, it, was. it was. And if you don't know, um, now you know. Um, yeah. But, but big, I, sorry, you were I, I want to say real quick before we, we move on because that the, the exact kid that you're describing was the little brother of the lead guitar player in the senior band that was like cool. Yeah. Band. And so my thought immediately was gravitate towards this kid, but he was a yeah. jackass and uh, he was not very mm. nice. So I, what I wanted him, yeah. he committed multiple times to being in my garage band, but would never show up to practice. Ooh. But he'd be at school. Gotta show up. Because he was Gotta like, you know, like good looking and athletic and like tan could play, could play inexplicably. Some and, you know, <laughs> like just like, and he played bass or whatever. And he, I think his name was Sean or something cool sure. like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or yep. Sage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But Sage like, you know, blenders. and like he had cool, like cool <laughs> Kevin Garnett shoes, like that, oh, that yeah. you know, yeah. and so like, but I was like, hey, you want to be in my band? He'd be like, yeah, sure. And then like squeed la boo and like, you know, whatever, <laughs> vanish and he would never show up. Um, anyway, sorry, continue. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, there's a bunch of like cool videos on YouTube where they show these talent shows at schools and they, they show the kid who like, he can kind of play, maybe he's kind of a popular kid. So he gets a big round of applause when he yeah. like fakes his way through some like, pop song or yeah. whatever and then the camera like pans over to the the heavy metal kid at school with the marshall stack and he's just like totally annihilating this kid embarrassing yeah. him yeah and then everybody totally freaks out and then it's like okay now it's your turn again and they go back to the kid and he's just yeah. scared <laughs> <laughs> this. 
yeah. to go head to head with the metal kid. I, the, the problem is only that in where I grew up, the metal kid would just have been booed. So you know what I mean? Oh, like, even there was even no, after there was, showing talent, I, we did a we did a talent show, and uh, I, I I have the video of the, the talent, talent show. show. So good, um, we should show it. Maybe, yeah, perhaps, was, yeah, perhaps we'll we will. Andy, right. yeah, we'll have to the clip. Um, but, Patreon, Patreon exclusive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, we'll put it in the show. I'm not going to do it as a bonus standalone clip. So. <laughs> um, but I, there, I just remember the one standing memory that I have was getting in trouble during the rehearsal for it because uh, I think I did like a Johnny Rotten reference. And the, I remember the teacher came up. Like a line that he would say? Was, yeah. So she, uh, she came up and said, I know what you're doing. And I was like, what? Mm. <laughs> You're like, that's good. You're like, yeah, can you I tell me? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm 10. So I don't, you know. I don't like, know what I'm And I guess her teenage son had watched the rehearsal and was, uh, and was mm. like hip with the lingo. And I did some like, you know, Johnny Rotten reference. It was a 10-year-old who liked the Sex Pistols. Yeah. And she was like, you are not doing that in the show. You will not ruin the show this way. And I was like, oh, okay. So I didn't do it. But to this day, I think about it all the time. The show. Because yeah, well, I do it on stage every single night now, what, uh, what and is I it? say I, I don't even remember. I think it was just like where he goes right, right. at the beginning of the song. <laughs> that was it. That was it. That was. And now that I think of wow. it, that was exactly. Dude, what it I was. mean, that is almost as offensive as having like striped socks or something. You have to understand, like yeah. the more I describe where I went to school, the more insane it sounds. Yeah, it sounds like a military academy. I know with religious overtones. The best. The best part is that we had a cop that was in the school. Yeah. Well, what was it? Oh my god! I was like, so I was ten. And, oh, my God, this is, I'm sorry to go on a tangent here, no, but this is my favorite moment of that school. Great. When you think about a misuse of adulthood over a child. Sure. Uh, we had an in-school police officer who was always there at all times. Like yeah. in the parking lot? or No, he had an office. And, stuff. and yeah. by the way, this is in a, like, like not a dangerous neighborhood. No. This is, like, right by Grant's house, right. just to give you perspective. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not, you know, whatever. It's not, like, a place that's known for its crime or anything. No. But mm-hmm. we had an in-school police officer who was the dare officer. Right. Yeah. Um, and he had an office. Now, you guys know me, and you know that as an adult, I, I have very little interest in aviation uh, <laughs> of any kind. I've always said yeah. you have very little interest yeah. in aviation. Certainly not not uh, Windows 95 computer games um, mm. for aviation. Now, like the Top Gun with the space bar. Yeah, game. we had a flight simulator game that yeah. apparently someone you could go play in the library at school that was yeah. like a space bar based flight simulator on these old computers. Right, and I had nothing to do with this, but we would sometimes have to go into the library and play these games for whatever reason. I can't remember why. I think it was like computer class or whatever. Right, um, and one of the games went missing. So uh, the so- oh the the someone floppy disc stole CD ROM. Somebody stole the CD ROM. Mm. Okay, or the floppy or whatever it yeah. was. Uh, floppy. The immediate assumption by literally everyone in the school was that I stole this. Thing. <laughs> Everybody's like, like <laughs> immediately. Like I, know I wasn't who wants even to ruin everybody's good yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. I immediately <laughs> was blamed. Like with zero evidence, I was immediately blamed, and it was decided that I had done it immediately. I was then sent to the in-school police officer, where I was going like, "No, I don't even like it. Like I don't want it." I was trying to explain like I have. I hate when we have to do it. I don't care about it at all. And why don't it's you have not a fun. Copy of the- like, look at me. I like like rock music and comic books and sports. Like, th- how does this fall at all into the interest that I'm displaying right. to you with my visual self? Yeah. Uh, because and, they were probably thinking sabotage, not right. Theft. They were thinking yeah. the kid with the Dropkick Murphy shirt that one time probably mm. wants to ruin the whole school. The kid that's like right. Yeah. Exa- <laughs> who did that one time? Um, Wearing the socks. Yeah. So. Well, the with next your, move that was your taken. Striped socks and your computer theft. He goes, he goes. You know, I have a lie detector machine, right? Oh, oh right. I'm yeah. like, I am at the most 11 years old. Yeah. And the police officer <laughs> at Del High Middle School is now threatening me that he is going to put me on a lie detector <laughs> test. Illegal, by the way. Oh yeah. You can't without yeah. contacting my parents or anything and I'm so I'm losing my mind scared because yeah. I'm a child who yeah. is now being told that I have to go in a lie detector and I'm I've seen TV I'm like what if I get too nervous and I accidentally yeah, exactly. like they're gonna yeah. I'm gonna get thrown in jail yeah. I didn't steal this game yeah. but now and so if I go like okay Imagine I guess what the punishment like, for lying to the dare officer yeah exactly <laughs> at school and I go okay I guess and, the, and then he goes like alright well we're gonna do it and of course he has to call my parents and it, so he, he calls, didn't have one, right? My, he calls my mom and goes, I'm going to administer a lie detector <laughs> test on your son. Because we have, we have reason to believe he stole this game and is lying about it. 
I'm sure your mom was not thrilled. My about mom that. said immediately, "No, you absolutely yeah. are not doing that." <laughs> hey, don't touch my kid. Yeah, <laughs> just don't touch him. Yeah, yeah. And then they came Talk down, and we got into an <laughs> argument with the the same principal who said no offense before everything. Right. Uh, and it was yeah. another time where I had to be. <laughs> no offense, but we're gonna psychologically rape. <laughs> yeah, <son>. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so having said that, uh, I, I I didn't have a whole lot of people that wanted to read my Sports Weekly magazine no, or any no. of those kind of things. So Sales any of the my, yeah, like my grifter, like my if even if I wanted to be like a skeezy salesman to people, you were already on the radar. Nobody, yeah, nobody wanted yeah. to give like I I don't I couldn't do anything. Yeah, so I had very little chance of this working out. For yeah. Me. We hope you loved that video. I know that you loved it because I am in your house right now right. watching you enjoy it. And That's not true. Presumably I don't. you loved it because you're still watching the video and it's over. Right. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you enjoy these videos. We will be uploading these videos every single day from the world, anywhere in the world that we are. We're going to stress out and go, oh, we got to get a video up. So What's we'll it upload be? it. Yeah, there's we have a remote location that we upload all of these from. It's a bunker. Uh, we can't even get in. That's how secret it is. So we just stand right outside the bunker and we upload these videos. Uh, is there anything you'd like these people to know? Make sure to turn the bell on. Uh... <laughs> you might ask, what the hell's that? Uh, and the answer is, there's apparently a bell somewhere right around this video in one of these areas. Uh, unless you're watching it elsewhere. Yeah. Unless it's not on our YouTube page. If However, there's an actual bell, you can ring that bell. You can yeah, ring my you bell. You can ring my <laughs> bell. LL. Ring my bell. Uh, get notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Please enjoy these videos. And if you don't, don't tell us. Because we'll cry, cry, cry. 96 tears.